Right, so good morning again. Thanks for being here. We're going to start this morning in a comfortable seated pose. So go ahead and get yourself situated on your mat. Elevating the hips if you like so that you can sit a little taller. And let the hands rest in your lap with the palms up or down. Whatever feels most natural in your body and allows your shoulders to relax down away from your ears. And once you arrive in this shape, softly close your eyes. Begin to turn your focus inward. Starting to scan down throughout your body. Noticing whatever physical sensations are present for you this morning. Taking in your body's energy. Once you've finished scanning through your body, then bring your awareness to the sound and the sensation of your breath. Noticing how your body expands and contracts with each breath cycle. Begin to purposefully slow down and deepen the origin of your breath. So your inhalations start really low, near your belly button or lower, and take more time to expand all the way up to the chest before letting the breath release in a slow, steady stream. Let your shoulders stay really heavy, uninvolved in the process of inhaling. With each time that you breathe in here, see if you can feel a sense of upward energy through the spine. The muscles in your back get a little more active so that your posture gets taller, more alert. And every time you exhale, can you feel your shoulders and your thighs and knees draw down toward the floor so there's a grounding quality to the exhalation phase of your breath. Inhalations create expansiveness as your energy reaches outward in all directions. And the exhalations help you find center and connection, grounding you to the earth. Once you feel settled into that slower speed and you found your rhythm, you can float the eyes open. Just take a moment to adjust to the light in the space. And if you're sitting with your legs crossed, let's just switch.
switch which ankle is in front so we keep things balanced in the hips. We're going to warm up here with seated spinal waves. I'm going to have you take your arms out to the side like in a cactus shape, so a 90 degree bend in the elbows with the palms facing open in front of you. On the inhalation breath, you're going to squeeze the elbows and shoulders back as you lift your chest and ribcage, arching your spine. And then on the exhalation, you're going to bring the elbows, forearms, and palms together to touch in front of you as you lean back and round your spine, hollowing out your front. Again, inhale, squeeze the shoulders and elbows back, arching the spine. Exhale, bring the elbows and palms to meet as you round the spine. So continue on here, moving at the speed of your own breath, doing these spinal waves with the cactus arms. And try and get your pelvis involved in the process like you would if we were in table pose. So the pelvis tilts backward when you round the spine and exhale. And it tilts forward when you arch the spine and inhale. Take one more for each direction. And then come back to a neutral upright spine, letting the hands just rest down again. Notice how you feel in your shoulders and your back. Good. And then we're going to take a side bend. Your left hand can come to the floor outside of your hip. Raise your right arm up and inhale. Exhale, lean over to the left, bending down into that elbow, stretching down the right side. Keep your right hip glued to the floor or your blanket as you lengthen that side. One more deep breath in. Exhale, push off of your left hand to rise up. And then inhale, reach up through both of your arms, getting long. Exhale, the right hand to your side, and then bend that elbow to lean over to the right. Ground through your left hip. Steady, slow breath. One more breath in, exhale, push off of the right hand, reach up through both arms and take a deep breath in. Exhale, sweep the arms behind your back and interlace the fingers. You can certainly use a strap for this. Roll your shoulders and elbows back to open the chest and then reach the fists down toward the floor behind you, trying to straighten the arms. If this is enough intensity, this is where you're at. If you want a little bit more, start to lift the fist away from your hips toward the space behind you, continuing to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release. Good. Separate the hands. <clears throat> All right. Let's come out of this seat and into table pose on the hands and knees. You can move aside any support you might have been using. And as always, feel free to have blocks available if you like to use them under your hands for our lunge sequences. <clears throat> Let's start with the right foot in between the hands for a low lunge and slide the left knee down and back. Getting nice and low in the hips here. Feel your pelvis descend toward the mat, but engage your inner thigh muscles like you're trying to squeeze them toward the midline of your yoga mat. So there's a little activity in the legs. Then from here, when you're ready, inhale, reach the arms forward and up, lifting the upper body as you find a low crescent lunge. Slide the arms back in space a little bit if possible, creating a little arch in your upper thoracic spine. One more breath in, and exhale, return the hands to the floor. And then from here, inhale, send the hips back in space for half split as you try to straighten the right leg, lifting the toes up so you're pressing down through the heel. And then we'll take a little movement in the spine with the breath. On the inhalation, lift your chest more, trying to come into the flat back position. And on the exhalation, fold down, dropping the nose and head toward the right knee. Few more. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine. 
position. Exhale to fold and let it round. Twice more. Inhale, getting off. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, get nice and long. And then exhale, come forward again into the lunge. Good. From here, let's tuck the back toes under and lift that knee, straightening the back leg. And then hop the back foot a few inches closer to the front of the mat. Send your hips back in space again and come into pyramid pose, trying to straighten both legs as you fold forward. Just continuing with opening our hamstrings. Try and really connect the back heel to the floor and feel your quadricep muscles in both legs really firm up to help you extend the knee. From here, the next time you inhale, lift your head and chest, flat back, and then bend your front knee as you exhale and step forward, coming to Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Let's bend both knees a generous amount and just let your upper body drape over the thighs, noticing the difference between your right and left sides. Allow your shoulders to melt and the neck to completely release. Take three more breaths here. And then take the hands to your shins. Inhale to the flat back position. Exhale, bend your knees and step back into plank pose, upper push up position. Good. Line the shoulders over the palms. Squeeze the legs together as you firm up your core. Let's take five breaths here. Last breath in, exhale, bend the elbows, come through chaturanga to the floor, point your toes once you're there and engage the shoulders and elbows back, and then inhale, come into low or high cobra, exhale, let it go. Twice more, inhaling to cobra pose, exhale to release, once more, inhale, and exhale. Good. From here, inhale back up to table. <clears throat> and then we'll take that sequence for the other side. Stepping the left foot in between the hands for your low lunge. And walking the right knee farther down and back. Good. Point those toes on the fingertips. Just lift the chest. Feel your inner thighs squeeze toward the midline of your mat for stability. And then inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Coming to your crescent lunge pose. Gliding the arms back in space. Nice low deep breath. One more inhalation. And exhale, release the hands back down. And then inhale, send your hips back in space as you straighten the left leg for half split. You can adjust the position of your hands if they're too far forward. Lift the toes as you press through the heel, lengthening the left hamstrings. And then on your next breath in, lift your chest more like you're trying to do a flat back position here. And then as you exhale, fold down toward the left knee. Three more times. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, fold and flex the spine. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold, let it go. Last one. Inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, return to the lunge. Good. From here, tuck your back toes under. Lift that knee nice and high, straightening the leg. And then hop the back foot a few inches closer to the front of the mat. And then press your hips back again, straightening both legs for pyramid pose. Ground your back heel firmly to the mat as you let your upper body fold forward over the left thigh. Toning through both quads, lifting the kneecaps. Take a few more breaths here. Good. 
The next time you inhale, lift your head and chest. Exhale, bend your front knee and step forward. Uttanasana. Bend both knees quite a bit and let your upper body meet the top of your thighs as you fold forward. Loosening up through the back of the neck. Take a few wide breaths here. Good. From here, take the hands to the shins. Inhale, flat back position. Exhale, bend your knees and step back to plank pose again. Let's hold again for five, just building some heat in the body. So firmly push against the mat. So you squeeze your legs together and draw the navel up and in. One more breath in. Exhale, bend the elbows, come through chaturanga to the floor, point your toes, squeeze the shoulders and elbows back. Inhaling up to cobra, just once this time. And exhale, let it go. Tuck your toes and inhale, push back up to the knees. Exhale the hips to the heels as you straighten and strengthen the arms, and then lift up into downward facing dog, adjusting your feet or your hands as needed so you can find length here. Good. Checking with your neck, make sure you're not holding your head up. Root down through every knuckle in your hands. You feel your tailbone lift upward toward the ceiling. Good. One more breath in. Look forward. Exhale. Step all the way up to your hands. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Open the arms. Rise up as you reach the arms over your head at the top. And exhale. Release to mountain pose. Okay, let's move through a few rounds of Sun Series A. So starting at the top of the mat. Inhale, begin reaching the arms up. Exhale, dive forward to your fold. Inhale, flat back position. Exhale, plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, the cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your time getting there. And then settle into your alignment. Shifting your focus then to your breath. One more breath in, looking forward. Exhale, step to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up, reach over your head at the top. Exhale, release your arms. Second round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Stay here and breathe. One more breath in, looking forward. Exhale, step to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, release your arms. Good. Last round of Series A. Inhale, begin reaching up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, step to plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more breath in, looking forward. Exhale, step to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to stand, reaching overhead. Exhale, release the arms. Good, let's come through one round of Sun Series B, incorporating chair pose and warrior one. So let's stand with the feet hip width apart and parallel. Bend the knees deeply as you inhale and sit back into chair, reaching through the arms. And then exhale, dive forward to fold over the legs. Inhale, flat back position. Exhale, bend the knees and step to plank. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. From down dog, raise your right leg and inhale. Exhale, step that foot all the way up in between your hands. Move your back foot over to the left a little and then place the heel down. And inhale, rise up to warrior one. Let's stay here and breathe. Focus on really lifting the back knee and toning that leg. And then getting lower in the front knee as the pelvis squares to the front of the mat. One more breath in. Exhale, hands down. Lift your back heel so you're in a lunge again. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, make your way to down dog. Good, take a moment to settle into down dog. And then on your next breath in, raise your left leg up. Exhale, step that foot in between the hands. Move your right foot off to the right side a little and then put the heel down. Inhale up when you're ready to warrior one. Lifting that back knee, squaring the pelvis forward. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands down, lifting your back heel so you're in the lunge. Inhale, step again to plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, make your way to down dog. Stay here and breathe. Good. Loosen up any holding in the neck as you find length through your limbs. One more breath in, looking forward. Exhale, step to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Good, let your feet be hip width apart and parallel. Bend the knees deeply as you sit back for chair pose and inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Exhale, stand as you reach to the ceiling and then release your arms to mountain pose. Good. Take a moment just standing here in mountain, really feeling your feet press equally into the floor. A little bit of toning in the legs and reach your arms down the sides of your body. Try and consciously slow down your breath. to a standing balancing sequence. So feel free to move off of your mat. If you have a hardwood floor, it can make it even easier to balance or use a piece of furniture to assist. We're gonna start with chair pose as the foundation of the sequence and then build from chair pose to some standing balances. 
And we're going to come through this cycle maybe two or three times, and each time add on one more pose. Okay, so we're going to start with chair, feet hip width apart and parallel. Bend the knees deeply as you sit back and extend your arms forward. Good, and then I'd like you to just lift your right heel off of the ground so you're on the ball of the right foot here in chair. Press really strongly into your left foot, engaging that leg, and then lift your right knee up toward your chest a little so the right foot is off the ground. Good, from here, exhale, sweep the arms and the right leg back and come into warrior three. Straighten the left leg now. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Steady your breath. Good, let's return to chair pose. So bend the right knee in, place that foot down. Bend both knees and sweep the arms forward and up. Good. Inhale, stand tall, reaching to the ceiling. Exhale, release the arms. Good. Roll the shoulders a few times. Maybe roll the head back and forth to release the neck. All right. We'll take that for the second side. Starting in chair, bend the knees, sit way back as you extend the arms. And then lift the left heel up so you're just touching the ground with the ball of the left foot. Prepare to balance on the right leg by feeling your weight go into that foot. And then now lift the left knee up to your chest a little so you're doing chair on one foot. From here, sweep the arms and the left leg back and come into warrior three as you straighten the right leg. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Try and steady the breath. Good. Let's return to chair pose. So start to bend the leg you're standing on, bend the left knee in, and step that foot down. Sweep the arms forward and up. Good. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, release the arms by your side. Mountain pose. Good. Roll the shoulders a few times. You roll the neck back and forth. Good. All right. Let's take another flow series before we come into our next balancing sequence. Inhale and raise the arms up and overhead. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees and step your left foot to the back of the mat for a lunge and place that knee down on the floor. Low lunge. Let's take both arms to the inside of the right leg. Move that foot over a little so we can take our wide stance variation. Turn the foot out and let your right knee and thigh fall away from your shoulder. Feel free to stay high on your hands or your fists or you can bring your elbows down to a block or the floor. Take several deep breaths here. Really opening up that right hand. If you went down onto your elbows, come on back up to the hands. And let's wiggle the right foot over even wider so it comes just off of the mat. Plant your palm shoulder width apart. And let's lift the back knee now so you're straightening that leg in the high lunge. Push the floor strongly and engage your core. And then step the right foot back to find plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your time getting there. Good. And then from this down dog, let's just step the left foot all the way forward in between the hands. And bring the back knee down to the floor. Take both arms inside your left leg. Widen that space by moving the foot over. Turn the foot out. And now let your left knee and thigh fall away from the shoulder. 
Feel your pelvis descend toward the floor, opening up in the left hip. Take one more breath in and look forward. Exhale, step to your hands. Inhale, flat back position. Exhale, fold over your legs. Let's stay here a moment. You can hold on to the back of your calves, ankles, or heels and hug your upper body to your lower body. Feeling the crown of the head move down toward the floor as your tailbone lifts up toward the ceiling. One more breath in, and exhale, let go of the legs, let the arms just dangle down, bend the knees kind of generously, and then slowly roll up through ragdoll all the way to stand. Good, take a moment to just find mountain pose, slow down the breath. Good, for our next balancing sequence, we're going to add half moon pose. So from warrior three, we're going to try and open up the hip of the back leg and then open the arms. So you might want to have a block um, on the left side of the mat if you use a block to assist uh, half moon. <clears throat> so we're going to approach it the same way we did initially. So starting with chair pose, feet hip width apart. When you're ready, bend the knees and sit way back, extending the arms. Good. Lift your right heel so you're just on the ball of the foot. Really root through your left foot, getting ready to balance. And then just pick your right knee up toward your chest. One-legged chair pose. From here, sweep the arms and the right leg behind you, leaning forward in the upper body to find warrior three as you try to straighten the left leg. Good. Take your right hand to the hip from here and let your left hand fall down and find the block or the floor. And then slowly roll your right hip open. Then roll your right abdomen and ribcage open and raise the right arm when you're ready for half moon pose. Let the lifted leg be really active and straight. But if the standing leg feels really tight in the hamstrings, you can bend that knee if need be. Good. Breathe deeply here. Good. From here, we're going to exit to a forward bend. Take the right hand to your hip. Close the hip down toward the floor. Bend that knee in toward your chest and just step that foot down next to the left foot. Bend both knees generously and just hang over your legs, dropping the head. Good. Before we come up, you can just move your block over to the right side of your mat if you're using it. And then we're going to again take a rag ball, so let the arms just hang down, bend the knees and roll up slowly through your spine, coming upright. Good. Take a moment here in mountain pose. Feel free to move the shoulders or the neck around. Good. And we'll take that to the other side when you're ready. Feet hip width apart, bend the knees, sitting back into chair pose. Find length in your upper body and your arms, and then lift the left heel up so you're on the ball of the foot, really press into the right foot, getting ready to balance, 
and then lift the left knee up so that you're balancing on one foot in chair pose. From here, send the left leg and the arms behind you as you lean forward, straightening the standing leg for warrior three. Settle into your breath. And then from here, take your left hand to your hip, drop your right hand down and find the block or the floor, and then roll your left hip open so it stacks on top of the right hip. Then the abdomen and rib cage will open, and lastly, the left arm floats up. Standing half moon pose. Good. From here, take the left hand to the hip again. Start to close the pelvis and the upper body down toward the floor, and then bend the left knee in and step that foot down, finding a forward fold. Good, bend both knees generously. You can get that block out of the way and just loosely hang over your legs, letting your head and neck release. From here, take the hands to the shins. Inhale, flat back position. Bend your knees and exhale, just walk directly up and back to downward facing dog. Good, take a moment here, just finding length through all four of your limbs. Good, on your next breath in, look forward. Exhale, step to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees generously and let the arms hang down. Draw your belly button in as you roll up through a rag doll. Good, come all the way to stand. Take a moment here in mountain pose. Try and slow down on the breathing. Just check in with your body and notice how you feel right now. Good. So I think we have time to take that cycle one final time and we're going to incorporate one more standing balance. From our half moon pose, we're going to then come into revolved half moon pose. So I'm going to put two blocks down, one to use in the regular version of the pose, and then the other, which needs to be kind of more centered on the mat instead of off to the side, to use for the revolved version of the pose. So right now I've got one block on the left side and one block basically right in the middle of the mat. All right, so starting in chair again, inhale, bend the knees. And the hips back as you raise the arms. Lift the right heel so you're on the ball of the foot, transferring weight into the left leg, and then lift the right knee so you're balancing in chair pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, send the leg and the arms back, leaning forward for warrior three. Good, right hand to the waist, left hand down to the block that's on the left side of the mat. Roll the hips open, roll the abdomen and chest open, and raise the right arm up, half moon. Good, nice steady breath. Return the hand to your hip, close the hip down and your upper body down, and now put your right hand down on the block that's more centered. So here we want to have your pelvis square to the floor, and now you start to rotate your abdomen to the left, revolving the ribcage, taking a twist here. Maybe the left arm floats up, revolve to half moon. Good, take the left hand back to your waist, bend your right knee in toward your chest, and just step that foot down. Good, take a loose forward bend over both of your legs. Let your head and neck release. Good, 
for time's sake, we're going to skip the kind of flow element between sides of the body. So before you come up, just move your blocks. So the one that's in the middle is going to go over to the right side, and the one that was on the left is going to come more centered. Good. Let's take the ragdoll again to stand. Roll up slowly through your spine, coming upright to find mountain pose. And just take a moment here. Feel free to move the shoulders or the neck. Good. Last time through this sequence. When you're ready, bend the knees and sit back into chair pose. Good. Lift the left heel up so you're on the ball of the foot, preparing to stand on the right leg. And when you're ready, lift the left knee up, balancing in single leg chair pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sweep the arms and the left leg behind you, leaning forward for warrior three. Take your left hand to your waist and bring the right hand down to that block. And then slowly roll the left hip open, rolling the left rib cage and chest open, and then raising the left arm, half knee pose. Good, slow, steady breath. Let's bring the left hand back to the hip and then start turning the left hip down and turning your upper body so it's facing the floor. Now your left hand comes down to the block that's at the center. The right hand's gonna come to the hip and start to rotate your abdomen and ribcage to the right, the revolved half moon. Maybe floating the right arm up if the freedom is there in the shoulder. Good, return the right hand to the hip, close your upper body down, and bend the left knee into the chest, step that foot down. Good, loosely bend both knees, just hang over your legs, let your head and neck release. Good, let go of some of that intensity from your limbs, letting your shoulders melt. And before we step back, just slide your blocks out of the way so they're off your mat. Bend your knees deeply so you can plant your palms on the ground and step back directly to downward facing dog, lifting the hips up. Good, last time here, find as much length as you can and take five deep breaths. The next time you exhale, gently lower your knees to the floor and come into child's pose. Close your eyes once you're there and soften the shoulders and the elbows. Noticing all the work that you've done so far, not only the physical effort, but the mental effort of maintaining balance. Just try and let some of that release, letting your body really melt into this shape. Try and slow down the speed of your exhalation, helping to bring the heart rate down. on the mat or you could elevate the hips with a folded blanket like I'm going to do and we're going to take a little seated finishing sequence before we rest in Shavasana. So let's start with seated down angle pose. 
can bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees widely out to the sides. Hold on to your ankles or the tops of your feet and lift up through your chest and rib cage to lengthen your spine, especially in the lower back. And then squeeze your outer hips and your glutes to help widen the knees here. Good, settling into your deep breath. Take one more inhalation to get even taller. And then drop your chin to your chest. Exhale to start your forward bend. And then continue to breathe deeply here as the fold gradually evolves. If your elbows meet your inner thighs, you can gently press there, but keep the active energy in your outer hips as well. So both are assisting the widening of the legs. When you're ready to come up, inhale and rise back up to your seat. And then exhale, close the knees together. Good. From here, your right knee is going to stay bent toward you. Straighten your left leg out in front of you. Hug the right knee and chin close to the body and sit up really tall. And we'll take a seated twist. Inhale, the right arm up over the shoulder. Then exhale, twist to the right as you put that hand down just behind you. And then bring the bent knee in closer to the body, maybe by wrapping it with your elbow and forearm. Or you can cross the elbow to the outside of the right knee and gently press against it to help deepen your twist. Take one more deep breath in, and then exhale, unwind the twist, and now let's let the right knee open out to the side again. Draw the sole of the foot to the inner left thigh, preparing for Janusha Shasana, nose to knee pose. Take your hands on either side of the straight leg and just push the ground to help you sit up really tall. Feel your belly button rotate away from the bent knee a little bit toward the straight leg. And then when you're ready, drop your chin and start leading the upper body forward. Walk your hands forward and hold on wherever the hands reach on the left leg. Good. The next time you inhale, rise back up and exhale to release the right leg forward and adjust your seat if you're up on the blanket so that you're still well supported. So now the right leg is straight, bend the left knee in toward your chest and hug the shin as close to your body as you can, sitting tall. Inhale and reach the left arm up over the shoulder and then exhale, twist to the left and place that hand down just behind you. Hugging the bent knee into your body for leverage. You can put it into the bend of your elbow, or you can cross the elbow outside of the knee if that works, gently pressing against it. One more breath in, exhale, unwind the twist, and now let the left knee open out to the side, sole of the foot to 
the inside of the right thigh. Take your hands to the floor and push down against the ground to sit up taller. Feel your abdomen gently twist away from the bent knee toward the straight leg. Take one more breath in. Exhale, drop your chin and lean your upper body forward. Walk your arms forward as well. And then hold wherever the hands meet at the leg. When you're ready to come out, inhale and rise up. Exhale and release the bent leg to get out in front of you. Take your hands behind your back, just leaning back on your palms and shake your legs out a little bit. Shake the knees out, wiggle the ankles. Good. All right, from here, let's come down to the back and we'll prepare for Shavasana, our final relaxation pose. Once you get to your back, if there's anything else you feel like you need to do to be comfortable, maybe bringing the knees in and do a little rocking or a happy baby pose, whatever would help your spine really settle into the floor. And then get yourself nice and comfortable. Once you're settled, gently close the eyes. Start to let go of any lingering active energy in your joints or your muscles. As you let your body melt down into the earth. And then take one final deep focused breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Let your lower jaw release and feel the tongue and throat relax as you allow your natural breath to return to the body.
attention back to your breath. Taking a few deeper breaths to cue your body that you're about to move. Take any movement that would feel good to you right now. And then eventually roll over to one side, curling up into a fetal pose. If you just pause briefly to notice how you feel. And with as little effort as possible, find your way back to a comfortable seat, keeping your eyes closed and your focus inward. And once you're there, come back to that tall, more alert posture and a deep, active breath. Bring the palms together in front of your heart and we'll end by chanting OM one time. Taking a deep breath in. Oh. Exhale and gently bow your head. Acknowledging yourself for making the time and space to practice tonight, excuse me, this morning, and acknowledging your body for all the strength and support it gives you each and every day. Have a wonderful day ahead, and I hope to see you next week. Thanks so much.